let me get in uh, uh, the expert with me here in the studio to talk more about uh, Chandrayaan 2 and uh, and how, of course, the journey has been so far. Mr. Ravi Gupta, who is a former DRDO scientist. Uh, sir, first of all, help us understand, so far, the trajectory has been almost perfect. Exactly. And that is very, very important. Today, uh, in the press briefing, uh, the ISRO chairman has briefed that out of the 10.9 kilometer per second velocity, if there is a difference of just 10 centimeter per second, then it will be completely off the track and it, will be diff it wouldn't have been possible to retrieve the Chandrayaan. So, just imagine out of 10.9 kilometer per second, a difference of just 10 centimeter per second makes the entire program a failure. Mm -hmm. So, that is how the, the precision and the accuracy and the challenges are involved. Mm. So, now of course, uh, today the, the, the ISRO uh, communique has confirmed that we are right on the track. We have already entered into the lunar orbit and uh, in the coming few days, there will be more, more maneuvers ca carried out, finally preparing for the landing on 7th early morning. Right. So, what next, sir? Now, what next in terms of uh, the key milestones? At the moment, it has just entered the lunar orbit. Hmm. Now, tomorrow, another, another uh, correction is due. Hmm. Presently, it is heading towards moon it will even overshoot the moon and then it will come in, be coming back towards the moon and towards the earth, but then again the correction will be carried out so that it will be right into the linear trajectory hmm. and then time to time that is the 20th of uh, August, 30th August and then the first, the rocket motors will be once again fired precisely at the right moment of time hmm. so that out of a very, very elliptical orbit. Presently, it is about 140 kilometer is the uh, perilune and uh, apolune is about 18,000 kilometers. Mm -hmm. It will be almost a circular orbit of about 100 kilometers. So, that will be achieved in next few days and then finally on second, the separation will take place. That means, from the orbiter, the lander will separate out. Then, from that, that point onwards, the orbiter will continue to orbit around the moon but the lander will go into a 10 kilometer by 30 kilometer trajectory in preparation for the landing. Hmm. Then on 7th early morning, uh, the descent will start. Hmm. Descent means because as we know, there is no atmosphere on moon. So, landing has to be by firing retro motors, reducing the speed of the lander. Um, then it will be searching for a right place to land. Already a region has been earmarked and further it will be decided deciding but once the the lander separates out yes. from in the fact, orbiter in fact sir in fact sir you know i want to play out this this uh, explainer video really uh, by my colleague pankaj to really tell more about uh, the the trajectory and of course talk in greater detail to explain to our viewers yeah. the the trajectory so far and more importantly the milestones up ahead it's a momentous day for in the history of ISRO and for India as well. Uh, the feat that uh, Chandrayaan-2 has achieved so far is not a mean one. It's not an easy target to actually uh, do what Chandrayaan-2 has, uh, uh, has done till today. As of now, I'll take you through what has happened right from July 21st, which was the launch date of Chandrayaan-2, till August 20, and how Chandrayaan has moved from here, from Earth, here it, uh, it all started. First of all, when it was launched on July 21st, everything, it was on schedule, it was on its uh, trajectory also. You'll see there are six not so concentric circles here, which are the six orbits of the Earth. You can easily presume that uh, this is the area where uh, the Earth's orbit is roughly can be seen here. Chandrayaan 2, after completing uh, or raising six orbits here, one, two, three, four, five, six, in the last phase, this sixth orbit was uh, completed uh, six days ago, six days uh, from today, it was completed, and then the speed was reduced. Remember, for, for a, a spacecraft uh, or for any body to leave Earth's uh, surface, it is uh, uh, projected from the Earth, it is uh, uh, you know, shot from the Earth on an escape velocity, which is 11 kilometers per second. Rotating like this on that speed, Chandrayaan-2 finally 
today slingshots from the Earth's orbit and goes into the lunar orbit. This is the lunar orbit. You see, there's a rotation map going on here. This is where Chandrayaan-2 is right now. On this orbit, orbit itself, this Chandrayaan-2, on a very reduced speed, will be meeting, will be landing over the moon surface, the lunar uh, polar uh, surface of the moon. That will happen on September 7. What will happen is the Vikram lander, which is part of this Chandrayaan-2, that will separate from the whole apparatus which has now reached uh, this, uh, this uh, uh, axis of uh, the moon here. And from there, that lunar, that uh, uh, Vikram orbiter, Vikram lander will then make a soft landing on the moon first. And then there will be, after two more maneuvers, that Vikram itself will maneuver twice uh, around the moon. And then it will be a final touchdown on September the 7th at 1.55 a.m. on uh, that fateful day. Chandrayaan 2 will be a complete success then and there. All right, that of course uh, is that uh, explainer video. Let's also get uh, Mr. S. Pal Singh, who is an uh, ISRO scientist with us on the broadcast. Mr. Singh, explain to us the significance uh, uh, of uh, the trajectory so far and of course the milestones that we should now look forward to going forward. Sir, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I just, uh, I mean, when I, I heard the explanation given, you see, it's an important uh, step towards the overall mission. I mean, I must say it's the second important thing. And if you consider most important, it's the most important thing because launching the satellites, putting into lunar orbit, raising the orbit system, we have done it. But here you have to control the velocity you have to control the timings, also inclinations, so that it goes exactly in the orbit. If the velocity is very high, it can become hyperboloid or paraboloid, go into the deep space, and we don't have that much fuel to bring it back. If we reduce the velocity to quite less, it can go crash on the moon. And at this particular moment, it's, it comes under the gravitational force of the moon, so it comes from the highly elliptical orbit which it has achieved. So this particular moment is very important. The checks, now, you know, the next we are reducing the orbit in the height and it will become a circular at 100 kilometers. After that, when on the 2nd September, the Vikram is uh, separated out and it slowly reduces and then on 7th it will hover over the area and it will land. That's the, see in the when, when it's Vikram is uh, separated out, that will be another another important uh, step which we have to take care. And when it lands, there will be retro uh, rockets will fire, and there will be a soft landing. Hmm. I must also tell you here that uh, you know Americans have done this type of thing, uh, in um, I mean on lunar orbit. And somebody was telling me today that in, you know Mars uh, they did the you know. Uh, discovery and other things they put it, but Mars had an uh, atmosphere, so we could put the they could put the you know some parachute and then uh, put everything in some sort of balloon and it went landed and then opened it. Similar things cannot be done on Moon because there is uh, no Mars. Right. And here, here uh, you know gravity also we have to take into account. So it's a very important step which has been achieved by ISRO. I wish to congratulate ISRO scientists and also the whole country. Absolutely, sir. That's a very important point you've made that this cannot be compared to some of the other uh, efforts and other expeditions uh, by other countries. But now, sir, the next important milestone, as uh, you've been pointing out. Yeah, that will be uh, the, when it, uh, Vikram is separated out. Hmm. Exactly. Stay with us, sir. Uh, Mr. Gupta, you want to add to that? That's a very significant point that Mr. Singh made. Yes, I would like to make one more, more point. Already we have created a history. So far, all the moon missions, none of them was in a almost 90 degree uh, orbit. It's mm. a polar orbit. Already we have achieved an 88 degree orbit and in coming few days it will be converted into an exactly 90 degree orbit. So, so far nobody has entered an orbit like this. Mm. And it is the first time in the world. Mm. We will be of course the first one 
to land on the south pole or near the south pole of the moon. Yes. That is going to happen on 7th. Hmm. But today itself we have created a history by entering, making our Chandrayaan orbit in a, a nearly polar orbit. Hmm. So now in the coming few days, the again challenges are there. Separation is one challenge. Hmm. Any kind of separation in space, it is a very challenging job. Hmm. Anything can happen, happen there, but I am very sure that everything will be moving fine. Then next big challenge will be exactly identifying the exact place of landing yes and the finally the final landing yes exactly then after a wait of a few hours the the once the the solar panels of the lander start working mm. next step will be then the rover the pragyan mm. it moves out of the lander mm. the 27 kg uh, buggy is a kate yes chandra buggy it will be coming out and then it will start its work on the surface of moon for more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.